Hello guys, this is Zorangzeb from Odash YouTube channel and welcome back. Today we will learn about the Artboard tool in Adobe Photoshop. The Artboard tool can be used to create multiple artboards or you can say documents within a single document. It's actually there if you want to create multiple size screens, especially for UI or UX designs. Let me just demonstrate this to you. As you can see on your screen, a mobile application has different sizes of design. So, for example, one screen can be of a different resolution, while other can be on a different resolution. Like, one screen goes on 960 by 800, while the other screen is of 200 by 150 pixels. So, to design these screens side by side, you always have to use the Artboard tool in Photoshop. Here is an, another example of UI designs. By the way, UI means user interface. So, if you are a UI designer, you know very well how there are many types of different designs and sizes when it comes to designing a mobile application. So, let's get back to Photoshop and see this tool in action. Okay, here we are in Adobe Photoshop. The first thing we should do is select the Artboard tool. Let's try the shortcut V which is for the move tool. If you press V, you select the move tool as you can see on the top of the toolbar. But we have to select the artboard tool. If you press and hold your left mouse click on the move tool, you can see a flyout menu appears where you can also see the artboard tool. But the question is how do we select the same tool with the same shortcut key. As you can see, the same shortcut key is there for the Artboard tool, which is also V. But the Move tool shares the same shortcut key. So let me tell you how you can switch between tools which shares very same shortcut key. All you have to do is press Shift V or Shift plus the shortcut which is associated with the corresponding tool. For example, if I press the V key, nothing happens as the move tool is already selected. But if I press Shift plus V, as you can see, it switches between the move tool and the artboard tool, as there are only these two tools in the first tool menu. So it will only switches to these two tools. The same thing applies for all other tools. As you can see, the rectangle marquee tool has a shortcut of M, while the elliptical marquee tool has also the shortcut of M. If I press Shift plus M, it will cycle between these two selection tools. Vice versa, all the shortcuts of all tools work the same way. Please remember this. Now let's get back to the artboard tool. I'm gonna go to the artboard tool once again and wherever I want to create a new artboard, I will simply drag a rectangle with my mouse left click. Notice the dimensions on the lower right corner as you drag. So drag according to the size you required. Let me give you another example here. But before that, let's try to see what options do we have here. If you click on the plus sign, as you can see here, there are plus signs on the right side, on the top side, on the left side, and also on the bottom side of the rectangle. So if you click any of the plus sign, it will basically duplicate the same screen with the same size on the right side, as you can see here. So if you click on the bottom one, it will duplicate, but on the bottom side, of the rectangle. So let's go back to the internet and see what if we have to create a screen of this size, the small one. So I have a utility, small utility, small software which is called the pixel ruler. 
The link will be in the description of this video. It can help you to measure dimensions of anything on screen. From width to height, as you can see the width is almost 340 pixels. For height you have to left click it once and it will switch to the vertical view. Now you can measure the height which is almost around 72 pixels. That means we have to create a screen which is almost 330 by 72 pixels. To close this pixel ruler just right click on it and it will close itself. Now we can create something like that which was 330 and 72 pixels. As you can see I'll just created a screen. Now I can start designing on these screens and I can see them all at once. So this is the use of Artboard tool. Hope you liked today's video. For the next video, stay tuned.